Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy. Last episode of Hell's Paradise, episode 13, Dreams of Reality. This has some very good fighting in it. I love the swordsmanship of the blind swordsman, Shion. He's always been a badass since he stepped into the scene and saved Naragai and Ko. Um, and since he entered the battlefield and did his 100 blade slash, pretty much what I want to call that, he's just been like my favorite in Hell's Paradise next to Gabimaru. Now, of course, his assistance was very much needed, and so was Senta on his way out from, you know, his death. But let's explain what happened with Senta. Senta got infected while protecting Yuzuria. He started to bloom, as the Tencent say. But they stopped the Naruto guys stopped the process by cutting the root of the flowers, and it kind of like saved him a little bit to kind of catch his consciousness from slipping away. And it was pretty good because he plays a like. An important role during this fight when it comes to the weak point which is the navel navel the weak point of the Tencent reveals that information to Shion and the rest of them and they handle business of course again let me go back to the fight choreography of this Shion Nargai and Sagiri do extremely well against all the needles and stuff being thrown at all the powers being thrown at them I guess I should say from the Tencent before the Tencent is ended now going from there we go to uh, since his last moments, he's in the arms of Yuzuria, which comforts him and he smiles as he dies. I think that is very admirable. I think that's great on Yuzuria's part because he did have a soft spot for her, just like Sagiri has a soft spot for Gabimaru. Whether Sagiri would do that for Gabimaru, who the hell knows? But speaking of Sagiri and Gabimaru's relationship, Shion kind of, you know, wonders what's up with that between them two and you know Sagiri just thinks you know I'm the I'm his monitor I gotta watch him yada 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 to make sure he gets back to his loved ones but Yuzuria chimes in while they're in horror ride by the way and they're switching clothes out and everything having fun with it by the way Yuzuria kind of questions it could be Genjutsu since ninjas are known for Genjutsu and could be tricking her into thinking that but just wants to get a pardon and like leave but Sigiri kind of doubts it because he's just like he wouldn't talk so passionately about this significant other Unless it was something, you know something real, but then again who's to say Gagmaro's not put under Genjutsu and thought he had a wife But actually does it. It's kind of a mess with that situation, but Think nothing of it And then we switch over to Gagmaro who just regained consciousness because remember last he used so much towel last time That he pretty much bonked his fucking head and passed out and so as he comes to, he's kind of acting like his old rogue self. And he doesn't know anyone around. He doesn't know May. He doesn't know the Blade Dragon or his monitor. And just like, where am I? Why am I on his island? I should be on a mission somewhere, yada, yada, yada. So that's where it pretty much has him. And May asked him if he was okay. And got him wrong with like this mean look on his face. was like, yeah, I'm okay, but he's really not. So, we don't know what to say about Gagamaru at the time. I mean, I know what to say about him, but I'd rather not spoil it for you. What didn't happen, because there's nothing left to really speak about as far as this episode goes. What didn't happen is that we did not get the introduction of the Aisumon Shujin or the uh, Iwakagure ninjas on the boat or the meeting with Jika and the ones on the mainland or the monster that he took. Like, we didn't get none of that. I don't know why that wasn't in here, but I'm guessing they're saving it for season two, which just was announced today. So expect season two to like do some type of recap and not even recap, like a, a report for Jika saying that and then they're showing them going to the island because we have to know. Like, I would, I would hate that they took that part out and then Shujin and the rest of them just show up like, who are these people? I don't know if Mappa's gonna be the one to animate, but they probably are. Because I do believe Attack on Titan has got like one more and that's coming out this year. So they'll have plenty of time to animate for the next season, season two. But that's all I got for you guys. I hope, hope you guys liked the video. I hope you guys liked the fighting that was involved in it. Rest in peace, Senta. You were a good big guy. Can't wait for Shujin, the next, the other Icymon, and Jika to return to the and with the ninjas and whatnot, it's gonna be fantastic. I love the talk on the boat, the trash talking and everything like that. And we'll just we'll just see what happens. Again, hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, share, drop a comment on the video. 
Uh, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. Follow me on socials and holla at your boy. I'll see you next time.